Hey, this is Donnie. This is Jacob. And today we're going to show you how to buff and polish clear coat to give you that show quality appearance. I've had a lot of questions about that. And we've got some dirt in this one. We just painted this hood, got some dirt in it, and a little bit of orange peel. And we're going to show you how to make that look like show quality. But be sure and uh, keep watching to the end of this video because we're going to show you how you can win one of these Chicago pneumatic VAs that we're going to use to sand this hood. To buff a hood with the method we're going to show you, you're going to need a, a DA sander. This is a dual action sander. And uh, you're also going to need an interface pad, inner surface pad. that helps cushion the uh, surface between the sander and the sandpaper. And we're going to use three different sandpapers. Now, if you had real heavy orange peel or run or something like that, we may use something a little bit different, a little bit more coarse. But this is just some a little bit of orange peel and some dirt nibs. And so we're just going to start out with 1500. And this sandpaper is by Meguiar's. Well, the 15 and 3 is by Meguiar's. Got 1500, 3000, and then 5000, the 5000 3M. Now, 3M recently came out with the 3000 not too long ago, 3M and Meguiar's. At first I thought that sounded crazy. You know, it's real smooth. I wondered if it really did any did anything. And then I used it and realized that does but part of your polishing for you. And then recently 3M came out with 5000. And again, probably like you, I'm thinking, well, that's not even gonna do anything. But I tried some just to test it out, and it really does a lot of the work for you. Uh, it does a lot of the polishing, you don't have near as much polish time. So I'd rather sand uh, than polish any day. So anyway, I'll demonstrate how to use these. Now just for uh, demonstrational purposes, I'm just going to mask the square off here and polish that. Now we've got it setting up on this stand. I've got some rags on here to be careful not to scratch it or anything. We uh, just painted this hood, but it did get some dirt and had some orange peel in it. So we're going to show you how to level that out and give it that show car appearance. Now we're going to do this square, square here. And uh, then we'll take this tape off and do the edges. But the reason uh, you may have to sand and buff is, uh, is dirt, orange peel, runs, any type of imperfections like that, you know, they can be buffed out. Now I'm going to have Jacob over here just kind of hold the hood steady uh, so, you know, we don't drop it or anything. Probably when we go and do the rest of the hood, we'll go ahead and lay it down flat where, you know, we don't have any issues. So I've got the DA sander. Got the interface pad and the 1500 grit. Now this is a special kind of DA paper where you can use some water. Uh, you can't use water with all DA paper. So I'm going to spray the area down with a little bit of water. And this is just regular water here. And my pad a little bit. And then you want to go several passes this way and then the other way. You want to go back and forth. And you'll see when you start sanding there's a dirt nib. Uh, you know, you'll see where you see the head sticking out. And you want to sand that till it's completely flat, smooth looking. And the orange peel is the same way. It'll, you'll see little dots of gloss. Well, you want to sand that until it's completely smooth. Now, keep in mind, though, that it, this had some dirt, and we knew that. So we applied three coats, so we know there's plenty of clear. Uh, you don't want to sand too much off. You can sand through this clear coat. So if you know you're going to have to buff, you know, it may be, you may consider putting an extra coat on Clear coat. Now you may notice when you start sanding that it creates a white coating and if it's doing that you're doing a good job because when you sand clear coat it turns white so don't get scared if you start seeing white on there that's what that's what it's supposed to do. I'm going to wipe it off and check for imperfections. Now you can see that that almost just that little amount of sanding has almost flattened that all out. There's still a little bit here, here, 
And then there's some orange peel down here, so I'll hit that a little bit more. And another thing to keep in mind when you're buffing is to uh, have all the things you need. I have, I have a cart here, and don't lay that down on the ground because if you get dirt on this, that's going to mess up your paint job. It's going to put uh, marks in there and you'll have a mess. Something you don't want. Now you can see it's really smooth, real flat looking. You don't see no dirt head sticking out. There's one little spot here, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. When we do the whole hood, we'll, we'll do that. It's kind of up next to this tape, but uh, looks really good. Now once it's flat and smooth, now you can go ahead and move on to the uh, next grade of paper, which is gonna be 3000. Okay, now I've got the 3000. And now I wanna go three or four passes this way, then three or four passes that way. Again, you wanna use some water. Then when you're done using these, if you're done, you want to rinse it off or else it'll clog up. That, that way the next time you go to use it, it won't be all clogged up. And they say that's especially true with the 5000. Okay, so we cleaned it off and we're looking at it. It looks good. And you kind of notice you can almost start seeing the lights in there again. So that 3000 started polishing it, which is going to require less polishing. And now I have the 5000, I'm going to put that on. Again, I'm going to use a little bit of water. Spray some on my pad. And I'm going to go three or four passes this way, and then up and down. Remember to immediately rinse this off for next use or it won't be any good. Get clogged up. Okay, I don't know if you can see it from camera, but uh, when I'm looking at it here, it still looks dull, but I can see the lights really good in that. So I've actually already done part of the buffing process. So we've already uh, started that process for using the 5000. Now I'm using a system that has a quick connect 
so you can put the different pads on. Now for the system I'm using, uh, number one is going to be your white pad. And it just pushes on there. You push back on this and it'll snap into place, which makes it easy. You want to make sure it is on there good. That would be a bad for it to come flying off. Now it's on there. And also before you take off buffing uh, on this panel, you don't want to have dirt in here and mess it up. So all the dry compound that's in here, for these foam pads, you have a brush that you can use to clean those off. So we're just going to go along the edges like that and clean it real good. Now the system I'm using uses three steps for darker darker colors. This is the uh, this is the number one compound. So we'll put a little bit of that on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smear that in a little bit. And then just like I was with the DA, I'm going to go several passes this way. And I'm going to go up and down. Give the DA a little bit of time to work that compound in. But first I'm going to smear it in so it doesn't splatter everywhere. So we want to go a couple passes this way and then this way with medium pressure, you know, put a little bit of pressure on it and then do a couple passes with real light pressure. Now we're going to switch to the next stage. In this step it uses a black pad. Again we want to clean this pad off. Now we're going to use the number two compound. Okay, now we're going to go over it with us number two. Okay, now it's polished, and for lighter colors, they say one and two is fine. However, darker colors, I'm going to consider this a darker color. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use number three, and that just helps hide any swirl marks that you may have. So we've got to change the pad again. This one uses a blue pad. Clean it. And this is the number three polish. Okay, I'm going to use the same technique. Couple passes this way and this way with medium pressure, 
then a couple of light passes. Okay, we got it set and buffed. Now we're just going to use a new microfiber towel and we're going to wipe it off. Get all the compounds and polishes off. This part of it looks like a mirror. So we'll go ahead and uh, untape it and then show you the difference. Now there may be some uh, where this edge is. Uh, couldn't really sand it that good and get in with the buffer because of that edge there. But I think you should be able to tell the difference even on video. Now I don't know if you can tell from this camera. Uh, but it does look a lot better where I polished that out. Uh, I took rid of the orange peel and the dirt. And, you know, when you're looking for imperfections, dents, orange peel, things like that, here's a little tip for you. When you're looking around the car, find the lights and look directly into the lights. And maybe you can see this on the film, but I'm going to focus on this light right here. And see if you can see some of the dirt nibs in the orange peel. Now I'm going to move that on over. And I don't know if you can see it on film, but it got a lot smoother. You know, it got a lot more glassy looking, and it's a makes it look a lot deeper and a lot smoother. But if you're looking for orange peel in something you painted or dirt, remember that trick to always look at the light and then kind of find the light and just kind of look at it and go up and down the car side to side, find it, you know, seeing if you see any orange peel, dirt nibs, or anything like that. Well, it takes a little bit of work in time to get that show quality paint job. With a little bit of effort, you can have that look. Now, if you would like to uh, win one of these, we'll talk about this now. I have a Chicago Nomadic DA, just like this one, and it can be yours. All you have to do is look down in the description below where it says more, click that link, or that button says more, go down there and there'll be a link that goes to the Chicago Pneumatic Facebook page. Just go there and like it, and then in the comments somewhere, write the code collision blast uh, just one word collision blast and that will enter to enter you to be eligible to beat to win this and to find out if you're the winner watch next tuesday's video and the winner will be announced so you need to watch the video to uh to win it so a couple steps go down to the comment section and also you know be sure and like this video uh you know if you liked it and uh We'd appreciate it if you like this video, but go in the com or not the comments, but the uh, more tab down in the description and find the link that says Chicago Pneumatics Facebook page. Click that link that'll take you to their Facebook page, like their page, and then leave a comment with the word Collision Blast. And in next week's video, we will reveal if you are the winner. Good luck. If you would like more tips on edges, how to sand edges and prevent burning through, I've got another video, didn't want to make this video too long, but if you're interested in that, that's another thing that you can find down in the description. Find the link that says additional buffing tips, click on that and you can watch more tips when buffing.